Hey everybody, I hope you had an excellent long weekend. Hey, we're kicking off our Bible reading plan week two. So if you missed the startup of last week, oh, I totally forgot that was a thing. Hey, you know what? That's okay. You can start with us today. We're going to be in John chapter seven. Well, as we do this, we're going to come alongside of you to help you grow in your skill of reading through the word. The way that we're going to do that is by using a tool called the inductive Bible study method. Inductive sounds nerdy. Pfft, I'm in. And we're going to unpack different aspects of a helpful acronym, P-O-I-A. Repeat after me, POIA, POIA. Hey, you got it. That stands for prayer, observation, interpretation, and application. And this week, we want to encourage you to focus on prayer as you read through the Bible. God, I just pray for... What was I saying? We often hear the disciplines of prayer and reading the Bible coupled together. And there are amazing reasons for that. First, prayer allows us to quiet our hearts and minds that we can hear God speak to us through his word. So often my mind races to a million other things anytime I jump into the Bible, thinking about my day, thinking about what I need to get done, or that notification that just went off on my phone. It's National Guacamole Day. Who knew? Siri, remind me to buy chips. But prayer allows us to be quiet and still and open our hearts and minds to the word. Also, maybe just put away your phone. <laughs> Genius! A helpful outline to pray through at the beginning of your quiet time is outlined in chapter 9, uh, When I Don't Desire God by John Piper, and it introduces this memorable and helpful acronym using the Psalms called I-O-U-S. That's a lot of acronyms. I know, just stay with me. The first part is I, incline. Psalm 119.36 says, Incline my heart to you, not to prideful gain or any false motive. That is, focus my affection and my desire upon you and eradicate me of everything in me that would oppose such a focus. Oh, open. Psalm 118.18 says, Open my eyes to behold wonderful things in your word. That is, let your light shine and show me what you have willed to communicate through the biblical authors. You, unite. Psalm 86, 11, unite my heart to fear your name. That is to enthrall me with who you are. And then lastly, S, satisfy. Satisfy me with your steadfast love. Fulfill me with every aspect of your covenant love that's been poured out through the death and the resurrection of Jesus on me. This is an awesome way to engage our hearts and our minds in prayer as we enter into a time of His Word. So try that this week. As you get into the Word, spend some time walking through this helpful acronym, I-O-U-S, and seek the Lord to create in you a still and open heart to His Word. And let this practice shape your time with Him so that you may be enriched by it. Hey, enjoy John chapter 7, and we'll see you later this week. See ya! Bye!